Good afternoon, all you Montreal lovers. Welcome to Virgin Limited Edition's fourth Wonder the World virtual tasting series that we're going to be doing. Um, my name is Dustin, and I'm the winemaker here at Montreal. Um, Montreal is situated in Franchip, in the Cape Winelands, Western Cape, so it's a beautiful area. Um, we are obviously in the restaurant capital of South Africa. And um, I'm actually coming to you, we are coming to you from the manor house, which is our beautiful manor house that's part of the property. Um, as per the previous taste, uh, not tasting, but virtual series that we've done, is that we're trying to focus on really interesting things that you can do with kids um, in each of our sister properties that are, that are part of Virgin Limited Edition. And one of the things that we came up with is to be able to do um, a juice tasting for the kids and a wine tasting for the grown-ups so it's very very interactive and very very fun so i've got some of the kiddies next to me say hi to everyone hi. out there guys so as i mentioned uh, what we're trying to do is to do a juice tasting and a wine tasting so i'm going to be tasting four different wines and the kiddies are going to be tasting four different juices that's a very easy thing for you guys to do at home um, all you really need to do is to get um, these four different juices so it could be two juices and two uh, soft drinks so what we've done is two soft drinks and two juices um, I've got four white wines in front of me and then literally all that we've done is colored the juices with some food coloring so the wines get two drops of food coloring in them and the juices get four drops of uh, food coloring in them and literally it's to try and confuse your uh, senses because what you are seeing uh, normally is actually not in the glass so you know if you'd have have a lemonade it'll have that really clear color but now it may be blue it may be red and it may be green who knows so it's just about how you get confused when you are tasting these various different things so what we've got lined up for the kiddies as i mentioned is the juices um, guys we've got a little bit of a small competition going so whoever gets all of the juices right there's a little nice little gift gift pack for you guys there and um, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So just before I start, I'd just like to introduce everyone that is going to be tasting with me. Obviously, I introduced myself. I'm Dustin. And then we start to the right of me. We've got James. And then Justin. Not Dustin. I'm Dustin. This is Justin. And then next to me is Lily. And then we've got Oliver on the end. Say hi to everyone, guys. Hi. Are you guys excited to try and taste some juices? Yes. Okay. So we're going to try and keep it very... Um, easy for everyone to know what's going on so literally in front of you are your two juices and two soft drinks um, in front of them there's a card so everyone out there that is watching us knows what is in your glass we don't. and you don't okay so what you need to do and we're going to do it step by step starting from your left hand side and I'll be tasting the wine, the first wine, and you guys will be tasting the first juice. Like I said, uh, one little um, piece of advice that I give, can give you, or a clue that I can give you, um, because we have got coloring in, you may not see the colors, but when you think of a soft drink or a fizzy drink, what do you normally see? Bubbles. 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 So there's your first clue, isn't it? So look for something with bubbles in it, and then you'll know which two are the soft drinks, and the ones with art bubbles are the yeah, juices. This one. Exactly. So there you go. Exactly. So that's a good way. That's the only way you can use your eyes in this specific one is if you can see some bubbles. Unfortunately for the grown-up here, I don't have any MCC or sparkling wine. So all of mine is still, so there's no bubbles. So mine is more difficult. Okay. So are we ready to go? Yes. And I've explained everything. So what we do is we pick up the first one and then... You can look at it. You guys have looked at it and you've kind of seen what you think it is. So what do we what do we all think it is the first one? Is it a juice or is it a soft drink? Soft drink. Soft drink. Okay, cool. So we all think it's a soft drink. Mine isn't a soft drink. Mine's some kind of white wine. Um, and then the, what is the next thing you do when you want to have a juice or you're trying to identify something? Is you smell it. So if you smell it and you start thinking about what you can smell because Soft drinks and juices are quite easy because a juice, a juice you can smell that specific fruit in the juice. Whereas for me, a wine is a little bit more complicated because there could be lots of different fruits in, in my in my special juice. So, um, 
once you've smelt it, so I also need to concentrate now because I've, I've been talking a little bit too much. So let me just think about what is in the glass. Okay, so I think I might have an idea. What I like to do, which you guys are also welcome to do if you want to, is I like to go through all of the wines quickly, but this is now specifically wine. With juice, it might be a little bit easier. So I'm just trying to get my mind set on what I think everything is. Okay, so um, if we go from, let's start with um, Justin. Yes. What do you think the first one is? Apple juice. Apple juice. Okay. James, what do you think the first one is? Um, apple tizer. Apple tizer. Apple Lily? tizer. Apple tizer. Oliver? I think it's red. Red, red, red grapes. Red grapes. Can you smell it? Okay, cool. I think we'll go through all of the um, juices first and then at the end we can maybe see who is right and wrong. So it seems like most people are saying it's um, apple tizer. So you can taste now, have a taste of it. And maybe you want to change your mind now because I heard someone say grape juice or, or something like that. Definitely okay, so if it was a soft drink, obviously it'd be fizzy on the on the on the mouth. So it might change someone who said juice. So what do we think it is now? Appetizer? Appetizer? Appetizer. 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 Okay, so I don't I also don't know what the juices are, so I think the best is going to be is to turn the card. Um, and it is appetizer. Damn. Well done guys. <sighs> Mine is yeah, yours will be the same. It's all color coded. So that's very, very well done. Now it's my turn. The pressure's on me now. <laughs> okay, so I'm in between. These two are, are, are quite similar in style. They don't have a lot of oak on them, they're more fruit driven. So I do a different process of elimination where I taste between the two because I've got an idea of what I think they are. So I'm thinking that this is probably Little Rock Blunt 2020. I hope I'm right. I don't know if I am. I am. <laughs> That's good. So there we go. That's how I do the wine. Then we move on to the next, near the next juice, guys. So you've got the green one in front of you. What do we look at again, quickly? Can you smell? No, no. What do you you look with your eyes, and what do you what do you think you can see? Bubbles. Some bubbles. So what does that tell you? It's fizzy. It's fizzy. It's probably a soft drink, not a juice. Fizzy. Hey? Yeah. Fizzy. So it's fizzy. So it's probably a soft drink. So smell it. Okay, and everyone knows that's green soda. A lot of people will say green soda. soda. I would say it's green soda because it's green. But, but remember, I'm trying to confuse everyone by adding color. So it may be it may be something that looks like green soda, but it's not green soda. I think it's lemonade. I think okay, it's so taste it. Okay, so now we've tasted, we've looked and everything. So there's a there's a, a consensus that it's Sprite or Lemonade. It's Sprite. So it's a very, very good, well done. I think it is Lemonade. Oh. Lemonade, and, I got it first. But, but Sprite is exactly the same lemonade. as Lemonade, basically. Come so on, don't lemonade. worry, you're no, basically no, no, right. No, no. Um, Sprite and Lemonade are exactly the same. Um, so now, I need to taste my, my juice as well and see what it is. So this is probably the, well, first of all, looking at the color, I can't really judge anything from the color. When I smell it, it's quite butterscotchy and it's got a little bit of peach. It's quite creamy in texture. So this is probably Montrachel Chardonnay, 2019. There you go. Okay, guys, on to the next one. Now, 
We're on the red one. And if you remember correctly, look at it. It's a juice. Is it very, is it very clear? There's no bubbles. There's nothing no, happening. No, there, right? no, no, bubbles. no bubbles, nothing. Okay. Yeah. And then what's the next step after you've looked at it? Smell it. You have a smell. You have a snippy sniff. Yeah. No, that's grape. This is grape. 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 Okay. Everyone think it smells like grape juice? Um, I think it's sort of grapefish. Yeah. yeah. Grapefish. Grape. Okay. Grape. 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 Okay. Grape. Okay. And then what's the last part of it, is to have a taste? Great. Great. It's a Well, we've got a split here. We've got a split here. We've got a split here. So there's two grapes and one lychee. Two lychee. Two lychee, sorry. Okay, you guys can turn it around. What? Grape juice? Oh. I knew what it was like. Okay, I think it's mine too. What is it? Grape juice, there you go. You guys are correct. Yeah. What's under this? Sorry? What's under this? Nothing. Nothing's under it. You can have a look. There you go. <laughs> then obviously, um, I need to smell it. I, I knew what it was. I know everyone saw that I may have had a little bit of a peek. But uh, these two are always Chardonnays, and this is definitely the Miko Chardonnay. There's something under this one. What's under there? Ah, something is printed there. I see that. Okay, guys, so then we move on to the last one. Okay, so you've all got the last juice in front of you. This one might be a little bit more confusing because it's maybe not clear. So if you use your eyes, this is another one where there might be a little bit of a clue. This is another one where there may be a little bit of a clue. And what do you see the difference between this one and that one? Between the red one and the blue one? What's the difference? The one is darker. Darker? And then if you if you hold the glass up and you try and look outside, can you see through it? No. And the other one, can you see through it? It's yes. So what does that tell you? That it's a little bit more cloudy. It's got a bit of a cloudiness to it. So if you think of juices that you can have, that aren't perfectly clear. What is one of the ones that is normally cloudy? Black currant. Black currant can be a little bit cloudy, definitely. Yes. Okay, so that's one of my clues. Is if you looked at it, I'll look at mine. Mine is obviously very, very clear. Then the next step, obviously, is to have a sniff and smell. No. And what do you smell? What's the difference? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not telling anybody. Okay, that's so. So, smell might be a little bit confusing for you guys. So, then I'll see if you taste it, if it gives you any ideas as to what it can be when you taste it. Mm -hmm. I taste like. Okay. I'll, I'll give you a little clue. You've got the first word, the first letter of the word you are right. It begins with G. Yeah. And it's kind of pinkish and reddish and it's got pips in it. Guava? Mm, you might be correct. I think it's guava juice. Could be. I think it's guava juice. Okay. James. But just, just remember when you think of it, is, is guava juice cloudy when you pour it? Yeah. 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 You see, so that's how you can kind of use your eyes and your senses to try and work out what it might be. So, if you've all said guava, you're welcome to turn your card around and show everyone. There it is. It is guava, guava juice. juice. Guava, well done. Yeah. Well done. Guava, I never guava, guessed that. I never guava. guava. And um, so I'll move on to the last white wine that I have. And obviously, can't really judge much about the color. So when I smell it, it smells quite grassy and green and fresh. Um, it's got a little bit of tropical fruit. It's nice and fresh and it's got a little bit of texture. So I think it's, um, it's the Montrachal Sauvignon Blanc 2019. Okay, so that was just a little fun way of um, going through your tasting senses and seeing what you can do. And it's a fun thing to do as a family at home. And you can do this with food, you can do this with fruit. Um, so it's just a nice way to tantalize your taste buds and have some fun with the grown-ups and with the kiddies. Um, I don't think we can say that anyone specifically won the juice tasting. So we're going to split everything up. 
and we're all going to have a little bit of a party just now and drink some juice and have some chips and have some sweeties yeah that's going to be awesome but just from 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 our side and montreal side um thank you very much for joining us and please be sure to join us for our next um uh, our next uh, virtual series which will be uh, on the 11th of february and mahala missouri will be welcoming you and they'll be taking you on a tour of the Maasai village um, near to Mala, Missouri. So thank you very much. And, and also thank you to the kiddies. Um, thanks for joining us. Just great to have you guys here. Say cheers to everyone. Cheers. Cheers, cheers guys. Thanks for joining us.